Hello and welcome. Today we are going to explore an overview of an automotive fuel delivery system. How does the fuel get from the tank to the combustion chamber in an atomized form and everything in between? We should start at the tank. All cars have them and they are usually steel or a polymer that is resistant to the fuels inside them. Many have a baffle inside to prevent fuel sloshing and some have protective members to guard against fuel spills in a collision. In days past, the fuel was brought to the front of the vehicle with a mechanical pump. Today, things are a bit different. Most vehicles utilize a pump inside the tank. These are electrical pumps and are more efficient than the mechanical pumps because it's easier to push fuel than it is to draw it the length of the vehicle. Inside the tank is also a sock or a filter that prohibits contaminants from getting into the pump or to the engine. Also inside the tank is a fuel level sender that is typically some sort of a float mechanism. Once the fuel leaves the tank, it is carried forward in a series of lines. Previously, these lines were neoprene rubber. This was sufficient since fuel pressures were around 6 PSI, and on the tank side, they were a vacuum. Fast forward to today, and our systems today run at much higher pressures. Some systems have a pump forward to boost pressures to the injectors at an even higher level. These are usually engine driven to keep fuel delivery in time with the engine. Once the fuel reaches the engine compartment, there is usually some sort of a pressure regulator and in a fuel injection system, there is almost always a return line back to the tank. From there, it's into a fuel rail and into the injectors. There are central fuel injector systems that utilize several injectors to atomize the fuel into the manifold and on into the combustion chamber through the intake valves. Another option and most popular today is for the injector to place the fuel directly into the combustion chamber. This is known as direct injection. In between these two options is port injection. These systems used an injector mounted in the intake runner and fuel still entered through the intake valves. Regardless of which type of system there is, or even in the old carbureted versions, the systems need to deliver an atomized fuel vapor into the combustion chamber so it can be ignited and facilitate a controlled burn across the top of the piston. It all sounds simple, but today's fuel delivery systems need to deliver a precise amount of fuel at just the right time. Thanks for being with us and we'll see you next time.